You are watching a clip from the John Perry channel, Genetics and Evolution. The big question in Origin of Life research is how do you get the first replicator? And that it's still unanswered. I mean, we don't, the first replicator capable of open-ended evolution, you know, RNA is a thing capable of this, but RNA, an RNA replication system is probably not prebiotically plausible. But this is what Origin of Life researchers are looking for. They're looking for a prebiotically plausible system like this that could have emerged on the early Earth. Because once you have Darwinian evolution, you can have, you've got information replicating, you can get functional information to evolve, and the whole game just explodes. Quite right. Once you've got replication, once you've got DNA yeah. going, and you're, you're, you're right that um, um, D DNA is definitely not a, a, a viable system on its own. RNA kind of is, but as you say, it's not prebiotically pre viable. You, you, right. It's hard to see how you can actually get right. So there has to be something before that. And that's okay. Um, we haven't found it yet, but um, right. it, it's something. RNA is a very good bridge and R RNA is a better one than DNA because RNA does function as an enzyme. DNA doesn't, DNA needs enzymes. RNA functions as its own enzyme. And so it's, it's, it's a better one, but we need something before RNA to get, to get that going. And it, as you say, it's one of the unsolved puzzles. Um, it's not a totally baffling puzzle. I mean, it's not sort of profoundly difficult. It, it will be solved probably. It hasn't been solved yet. So that was just a clip from my conversation with Richard Dawkins. You can see the whole thing. There's a link to that down below. Subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed it. I upload clips pretty regularly, talks and conversations and presentations that I've done on genetics and evolution. And I am gearing up to start doing weekly videos again here that are completely new, completely fresh.